Hey, my coworkers call me the information machine. Wait a minute. Those people are mocking me. Did ancient astronauts draw the storyboards for Madagascar? Read the book. Ever since the time when man began to control his environment, he has been plagued by his limited ability to speculate. Oh, I can't imagine that's true. His failure to accurately predict the effect and the consequences of his proposed action. Oh, how many people died before the word timber was invented? Oh, me bad, me bad. This is the result of his not being able to consider and relate all the factors in a problem. Dumber than a bag of yo-yos. Evidence of this inability can be seen in the persistence of a certain kind of myth involving this. Aladdin 4 sucks. In a frantic effort to reap immediate reward, the first is often not too wise. This better be proportionate. The second usually tends to overcorrect. Hey man, that's not what I meant by let's get small. Our hero can consider himself lucky if after the last wish, he ends up just where he started. <laughs> but there were men whose wishes were not only prudent, but had a habit of coming true. Like Walt Disney and Ron Popeil. These men and women were artists and had certain characteristics in common. Like acute cubism. They were seldom bored with anything. They were constantly building up stores of information in active memory banks. This guy needs a ready round mobile inventory box. When confronted with a specific need, they would call on these memory banks for information, which they would run through sort out and relate to the problem at hand. MacGyver begins. These men could speculate and could predict. Yup, that's definitely the West Indies dead ahead. They were artists. Artists in many fields. Architecture, mechanics, cosplay, medicine, science, Merlin, politics, and the art of relating factors. The animated adventures of Socrates. It is often not a conscious art, and the degree to which it is operative can tend to make one normal. Define normal, honey. Bright, super bright. Super duper smarty pants. Or genius. Seems like a low bar, but it's your movie. Numbers were used to count, but soon they were also being used as abstract symbols for states of being. I'm just feeling kind of seven today. Values were given to mass, speed, inertia, and the forces of gravity. Which was invented in 1485. Such measurement was an enormous help to creative thinking. Man was learning to numerically relate and to predict. He became insufferable at parties. Theories were developed by which the many factors in a problem could be numerically related. But the magnitude of the calculations necessary made many such theories impractical. So we invented beer instead. In the last century, the complications of our society have been compounding themselves, and it began to look as though the science of numerical relationships could never catch up. But then Richard Simmons was born. For a long time in the world of numbers, man has been developing tools to help him handle increasing amounts of data. Like Dropbox in the Verizon family plan. Something has now emerged that might make even our most elegant theories workable. It's called Quicken Loans. The recent acceleration has been fantastic. The electronic calculator has already become a tool upon which much of our daily activities depend. I've done it, men. I've typed the word boobs. A tool which has broadened the range of man's concepts and intuition, much the way other tools have broadened man's range of communication. Lorraine Newman! Man's range of travel, or the phenomenal range of his control over environment. Oh, don't get too comfy with that one. With the computer, as with any tool, the concept and direction must come from the man. According to First Timothy. The task that is set and the data that is given must be man's decision and his responsibility.
So what you're saying is we're toast. This is information. It wants to be free. The proper use of it can bring a new dignity to mankind. Or you can make Urkel gifts. Properly related, it can maintain a balance between man's needs and his resources. And it can store your Vimeo password and stuff. In many aspects, these are information machines capable of storing, processing, and relating a vast quantity of information. Almost four kilobytes. They process information so that it can be made meaningful at the human scale. Hey, that's the scale I use. Computers are generally used in any of three ways. Porn, porn, and porn. First, as a control or balance. Thanks, computers. Second, as a function of design. Um, thanks, computers. Third, as a simulation or model of life, where we can see the effect before taking the action. With a 60% margin of error, what could go wrong? Today, there are working mathematical models of railroad systems, rocket engines, complete reactors, farmvilles, and whole living communities. Hey, they invented Disneyland. The calculator is helping to define society's most complicated problems. Like Maria. It is a tool for turning inspiration into fruitful prediction. And subsequent gambling. As an information machine, it has done much to broaden the base of our growing concepts. I mean, I guess. But the real miracle is the promise that there will also be room for those smallest details that have been the basis for man's most rewarding wishes. Yeah, no, sorry. This is a story of a technique in the service of mankind. You see, the information was in your heart all along. A technique in service of mankind, eh? A technique that's also given us guided missiles, identity theft, spam, malware, hacked elections, cyberbullying, Breitbart.com, flus, and TMZ. Thanks, no thanks, information machine. Josh out.